Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to auto-rotate your device using tab bars and other templates. Um, I've ran into a problem with my app uh, to try to get a tab bar to rotate and I figured out how to do it so I just uh, figured I'll share it with you guys. So I'm in Xcode right now and I'll go to File New Project Tab Bar Application and I'll just um, do something like Test Tab and set that up make it large okay I'm just gonna resize the window to my preferences you don't have to do any of this um, usually with a tab bar to well with other applications to make it rotate um, you would just come here and you would either type um, something like this so it doesn't uh, rotate upside down or only rotates upside down or you type yes. The problem with this though is when you build and run and you see it in the simulator you know it opens up you have your tabs and everything but when you go to hardware and rotate left well nothing happens you know you can click whatever you want but nothing's gonna happen the reason for this is that all classes um, in the main window have to return a yes or no for upside down only or something like that so in um, in your main window to get all this stuff go to window document and then tools library inspector and view okay so the reason for this is that you have these two different classes here and the first class is returning a yes this first view controller however the second is just a view and it's loaded from the second view it's not returning anything if you come here and make it the first view controller um, and then save this in interface builder go to build and run well now when you rotate it it rotates However, you get this, um, you know, it didn't rotate right. Uh, first view centered and everything, but you can barely see it. Uh, you can't see the other text that was at the um, that was at the bottom. You know, you can't see any of this. The tab bar remains. A lot of applications, when they're rotated sideways, uh, you do not want this tab bar here anymore. Um, you want it to be gone, and you just really don't want to deal with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete or actually I'll leave the second view for now but um, in my other app uh, I found this line of code uh, that I'll put on my website um, that you could see and I'll explain this and walk you through it but basically what it does is this is void will animate rotation to interface orientation UI interface orientation, interface orientation, duration, NS time interval, duration, and then basically down here it says, basically if the device is in portrait, if it's standing straight up and down, uh, self.view equals self.portrait, which is the view. Um, sometimes you just want to, for example, if you don't want the view to just rotate, if you want to push a new view, like if you wanted something new to appear uh, you would do something like this you would create two views and one you'd name portrait and the other you'd name landscape um, this will automatically start in with uh, the portrait view um, however it says if it's in landscape left right here then to load in this new view which we haven't yet created um, also it says if it's in right to load the same view because unless you want to load two different views if the user holds it to the right or if they hold it to the left you could do that as well um, in the should rotate it says return interface orientation but this little exclamation and equal sign means do not do anything if the phone is upside down and this is really good I mean you can just imagine if someone calls you and the phone's upside down vibrates out of your hand or you know he answer it upside down Apple really recommends this line of code here. Um, 
So we have our view. Um, what we need to do now is we need to come to our dot h and we need to declare our portrait view. So that's the view that loads first. So just go type in IB outlet um, UI view. Oops. And take this little star off. And I'm going to name it portrait. Okay. Now you can come down here at property, non atomic, retain. And then just copy and paste this line of code. Just like that. Okay. Now go back into .m. Type at synthesize right under the implementation. And type portrait. Also, release portrait in the allocate. Okay, so now we have our portrait. Well, let's just remove these for right now because we don't really need them. Um, I'm going to leave the last line of code because that comes in handy for hiding the tab bar a little bit later. So I'll just comment out that line and save everything. You see the build succeeded. So I'll go to um, my main view. And I'm just going to get rid of this stuff. And I'm going to add another view. Now this view I'll name portrait. And let's see. I'll drag it in. It'll auto size. And let's see what we have here. Okay. Um, come here and make another uh, view. Um, the reason for this is the main view, the, the main window is basically the entire tab bar, so I'll just name this first view. And I'll delete these. They're not needed. I'll double click on first view. And I'll come to files owner and give it the class of first view controller. Okay. And now I'll I'll right click from files owner to view and select portrait. And I'll save this. And because I deleted that view in main window, I now have to come here and tell it what view to load. So I'll tell it load first view. Okay, and I'm not going to give it a class. And then I'll go back to my first view and I'll just put a label in here and type first view just to see if I have all my outlets correct. And I'll build and run. And the batteries in my mouse have apparently died, so in part two, I will um, continue on this tutorial and show you how to push a new view when you rotate. So thanks for watching.